Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent again. And in this web tutorial, we're gonna be talking about Amazon Simple Storage Service or Amazon S3. So Amazon S3 is actually a cloud storage service for developers. It's where we're going to be able to store and upload files to for our web projects. So the purpose of this tutorial is going to be to show how to actually use Node.js uh, to upload files to Amazon Web Service. So the first tool I'm gonna to show you guys uh, in order to do this is called S3FS. And basically what it does is it takes what Node typically uses as a file system, a manager, you know, save files, write to files, um, open, edit, delete, all that kind of stuff. And it abstracts it away from specifically saving to locally. And it takes it and uh, manipulates it so that you're saving, updating, deleting, and all that stuff actually on the S3 Amazon service. So let's scroll down just a little bit and see what kind of stuff we can actually use here. Uh, so basically we can create uh, a read stream and a write stream. We can make directories, um, read directories. Uh, we can clone files, copy files. And instead of actually doing this locally, uh, like uh, typically your normal Node.js file system would, we're actually gonna be manipulating our files on our Amazon web service. So in order to install this in our project, we need to have this link here in our HTML. Let's see if I can actually copy it to my clipboard. We're gonna go to our project, uh, npm install, and it's actually, let's see what it is. It's uh, git plus, git plus, and then we can go ahead and paste this in. And this will install, uh, not only S3FS, but all of its dependencies as well, which it looks like it's Extend and Bluebird and uh, the AWS SDK. So in order to use it, let's go to our API.js file in our routes uh, and let's uh, basically import it. Uh, so variable S S3FS, and we're gonna require S3FS. And there we go. We're also going to use a, another middleware uh, called multi-party middleware. And that's just for testing purposes. That's how we're going to upload our file basically to the server before it actually gets sent off to um, the Amazon web service. That's how basically how we're gonna connect our two. Uh, basically, it sets a request object uh, called request.files.file, in which case uh, the S3FS will read that uh, and stream it to the um, Amazon Web Service itself, the cloud. So in order to download that, let's do npm install uh, connect multi-party. That'll install it here, hopefully, good deal. And now we can go up here, uh, var multi-party equals require connect multi-party and then below here or actually we'll just continue down here uh, multi-party middleware will be equal to uh, multi-party so now that we have uh, that middleware uh, uh, as a variable, we're gonna use it in our router. So anything that goes through our API uh, will actually have to go through this multi-party party middleware. So if um, we have a uh, upload in process, but like somebody goes to our website and they need to upload a file to our Amazon web service, uh, this will intercept the file. It will save the file into a uh, request dot files dot file object and then we'll allow the s3fs to read that and continue uh, the file along its path to the uh, cloud service uh, so in order to do that all we have to do is router dot use um, and it's going to be multi-party middleware and so now every time anybody goes to this router, um, the router will use the middleware here before going on any further. So now that we got that set up, let's go ahead and create a new uh, file system. And in order to do that, we create a var uh, S3FS 
implementation basically. And that's going to equal a new S3FS. And so like what we can see here basically, uh, the first uh, parameter is the name of the bucket or the name of the, uh, the root directory that we're going to be saving and reading all of our files from. Um, so I'm going to just call it Brent's test bucket uh, one, two, three. Okay. Um, they have to be unique uh, all around the world and stuff like that in all lowercase letters. Um, so the next one is the options. Two of the options are your access key and your secret, uh, your access key ID and then your uh, secret access key uh, that you're gonna get from Amazon Web Service. I'm gonna go ahead and really quickly show you how to do that. All these credentials will be deleted at the end of this video so you will not be able to uh, use these credentials. Um, but basically, you go to the Amazon Web Service. You're going to go to um, your account here, Security Credentials, um, Continue, Access Keys. These are all going, I'm going to delete this one, create a new one. So um, you'll click uh, Create New Access Key. Um, and then you can show it or you can download it. I'm not going to download it because I'm not going to remember it and I'm going to delete it really quickly. Uh, so the first thing here is um, the access key ID and that is going to be this. So we'll copy that in here. Oops. What is going on there? Copy. There we go. And then the next part is going to be uh, the secret access key. And that is going to be this piece of information here. And so that should be set up. Okay, so let's make a new route here below. We're gonna say router.post, since we're gonna post a video, and we're gonna do make it test upload. And then we're gonna write a function here uh, that of course takes in our request and response objects. And then the first thing we're gonna do is create the file or get the file from our request object. Uh, since the multi-party middleware sets the request object like I uh, told you previously, uh, request.files.file, um, then we can get that from the request object now because it's already gone through the multi-party middleware. Um, so request.files.file. And then what we're gonna do is create a new uh, read stream. So var read, or let's just call it stream equals file system dot create uh, read stream and then file dot path so uh, the, every file that you're going to upload is going to have a direct path which is what we're uh, going to grab there and actually okay we already have file systems up here okay so good so we're using the regular file system in that case so um, what we're going to return is a s three fs imp implementation dot write file and we're going to take the file dot original file name and the stream so this is where the file is we're going to basically be writing to our amazon web service um, this file using this stream and then this is using a promise. This part returns a promise. Um, and then um, the function, here's the callback function. We're going to do fs.unlink our file.path. And then function, if there's an error unlinking, uh, if error. Then uh, console.error 
the error. And otherwise, let's see, we'll res uh, respond by redirecting uh, them to whatever page we want. Redirect them to, I don't know, let's redirect them to our profile page. So let's save that and see how many bugs we got. And actually, we really quickly actually need to create the bucket because if the bucket, this is uh, this statement up here is telling us to use the bucket, but if it's not created, uh, we actually need to create it first. Uh, so let's go ahead and do S3 FS uh, imp location uh, dot create. Now let's save this. Uh, let's see if we have any errors here. We're going to run the server. Um, doesn't look like anything is errored out. So what we're going to use is we're going to use Postman. It's a Chrome extension uh, to uh, replicate basically uploading a file to our API. Um, so I've pointed Postman at uh, our localhost slash API slash test upload, uh, which is of course the route that we're going to be using. I've set it to a post command. Uh, and then I've used a uh, file extension, basically, or a file property. Um, and we're going to pick a random file here. It's a picture of me and my girlfriend. And we're going to send this as a post, as a post here. Uh, so that got sent. So now let's uh, go see if it's actually in our uh, folder. Okay, so in order to check to see if this worked, uh, we can go back to our uh, console at, on our Amazon web service here. You can go to S3. It's going to pull up all the buckets that you have created. I've created a couple uh, previously. Uh, so we have Brent's test bucket one, two, three here. They got created when we did our S3FS implementation dot create. Um, and it says our folder is empty. Let's refresh this and see if that's still the case. And the reason that it's still empty is actually I needed to comment out my uh, protection for my API. I require that you're authenticated in order to access my API. And since I'm using Postma Postman, I'm not authenticated. Uh, so I've commented out this code um, and I'm going to now save it, um, restart the server here. And so let's test uh, another, let's test the picture again. Uh, so we'll go to my desktop, same picture here. We'll send this. This time it's going to take just a little bit longer to load because it's actually uploading the picture. Now we can look down here that it took almost about four seconds to process that. Um, then we were redirected to the slash profile page and the auth page. Um, so really quick. Now all we have to do is go uh, refresh this and hopefully there will be a picture there now. And still not. Let's see what's going on. Oh, it's because I'm in the wrong. Uh, I'm in the wrong bucket. Uh, so Brent test bucket one two three. Refresh. Still not there. What is wrong? Anyway, I had to re uh, refresh it. I think I was in the wrong bucket or something like that. I didn't change any code. Uh, so here we go. Now we can see that the file is now into our bucket. Um, if we click on it a couple times, it'll actually delete or install. So there you go. So that's it for this tutorial. We've been able to upload a file to Amazon Web Services S3 platform uh, using Node.js. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them in the comments below. If you like this video, you want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.